It's going to be a cold, foggy walk. So, we started here, and we made it all the way to here. Then we're going to go way down here. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, it's cold. It's cold. We're at the top <gasps> of the Great St. Bernard Pass, and we have to head downhill. It's currently nine degrees <laughs> Celsius. Very. Nine degrees Celsius. Celsius. Which I believe is 49, 48. Oh, and uh, it's windy. Yeah. Um, I had a really good night's sleep. I feel yes. a lot better today after yesterday's climbing. Uh, it really honestly is not that bad except the last two kilometers are whew, really intense. It's been a thousand um, years, people. Put stairs to the top. <laughs> Don't listen to him. We had some snow to walk over. It was fine for me. How about you? Uh, my toes got cold. Yeah, you guys know he hikes in sandals. So anyway, we're heading back down. We're not going all the way to Aosta today. We're stopping in Echevene. Uh, we decided to break up um, a few days, like from two into three or something like that, just to make it a little easier. Um, going downhill is so hard on your body. So we yeah. wanted to just make sure, again, prevent injury. What's the goal, Bri? Rome. Rome. Roma. To Roma we go. So let's Andiamo. Go. We're almost in Italy. <laughs> let's go. go. I got to Italy before you. Hey, Michelle, we made it to Italy. Let's go home. We've officially crossed out of the pass, and this is our first view of Italy. Buongiorno! walking downhill, which we're going to be doing all day, give each other distance. Give each other at least a human length between. Maybe a little more depending on how steep it is. Depending on how steep it is, so that if one person slips, they can recover without taking out the rest of the hiking party. If you want to hear hiking tip number one, check out an earlier video. We'll keep bringing them to you along the way. We are still walking downhill and we have reached the exit of the Great St. Bernard Tunnel. What took all of those people 30 minutes to do took us 20 hours, two meals, good amount of wine, and a night's sleep to do. Who had more fun? Probably us. Definitely us. Although they could have been playing like road trip bingo, who knows? <laughs> Ooh, Coleman road trip bingo. Yeah. Just like that. Five kilometers and two and a half hours later. We are not officially almost, but, off the mountain. But We're the in the valley. But the mountain is way back there. I mean, it's amazing. It took two days to climb up there. And yet... And it's going to take two days to walk back down. It is. Uh, we'll show you what's ahead of us. But the big part of the mountain and the, the deep part of the valley that we were in is, is all behind us already. Yeah, we're definitely off the mountain and into the valley. And we're in t-shirts now. We had left in sweatshirts and coats. I had three layers on to start. And now we're in t-shirts and um, I haven't seen any snow and lots and lots of pine trees. And as a matter of fact, in this house over here, they have some St. Bernard puppies. So that was fun we to see. We saw some, uh, we saw a deer or we heard, something. We heard a cuckoo. We heard a cuckoo. 
heard him, and he didn't stop at 12. He just kept no. going, <laughs> or she. So we'll show you the valley in front of us, but we just thought we'd give you a little five kilometer update. Here we are. Wow, Michelle, that was quite a storm. It was. There was a lot of rain. There was a lot of rain. There was a lot of hail. There was quite a bit of hail. At any point, did you think that you might have been in trouble? <laughs> no, you know why? Why? Because I am prepared. And therefore, when trouble comes, I'm ready. We are now in the village of in trouble. And this. It's not raining. <laughs> and it stopped raining. In this part of Italy, the official language is Italian and French. So things still have French names and we've heard people speaking in French. That is cow for pilgrims have arrived. The entrance to Labri. Go up the little alleyway to the reception, and then the breakfast we came out down here at the bottom. And then Brian. And the way is right the here. The restaurant for last night is at the bottom of the hill next to the church. The church right. His parents run the restaurant. It is fabulous, but it's next to the church. It is a big hill. There's a longer way, but short and get it over with. And now we walk. We walk on. Buongiorno. Hello. Good morning on day seven of the Via Francigena. It is beautiful. It is quiet. Well, except for that ambulance that just went by somewhere down below. Don't tell the water, but it's actually being quiet. <laughs> it's been so loud we haven't been able to video. So first of all, believe it or not, this little stream that we're walking past right now is kind of a man-made stream. Um, this area is dotted with these little canals or aqueducts that are fed by the streams coming down the mountain. And then they figured out a way many, many years ago, I think they date back the, to the 15th, 15th century, century. Yeah. to uh, divert the stream. Into Some the places of... it looks like a stream, many other places it is a stone or concrete um, aqueduct. But it takes water um, and carries it all through the Osta Valley. To the farmland, to the um, pastures, to wherever they need water that it's not naturally occurring. Whoa, don't fall, please. I'm not gonna fall. Uh, so we are walking from our little village last night, which is called? Eshvanaz, Eshvanoz. And we're walking to Osta. Anyway, we are just really excited to have this beautiful day. I, I think we may not walk in the rain. It, and it's pretty flat. We have the last five kilometers into Osta is downhill, but that's okay. Temperatures are good. It was about 60 degrees when we started walking at 8 a.m. Um, it's the After first a day. wonderful breakfast. It's the first day I've started the day in shorts. Yeah. And uh, it's beautiful. I have beautiful. for the sun. I mean, this is fantastic. My hair trail got very narrow here. All right, well, then we're going to show you what's ahead.
here in the Plaza Chano in Aosta. Talking up, <laughs> I have my first Negroni, delicioso. I want to say I have my first glass of wine, but I can't. <laughs> she cannot, but it's local wine. It is. It's a beautiful, oh my gosh, it's a beautiful Gorgeous evening. evening. After a very long, pretty tough day, which very, is what we were just discussing and said, hey, let's turn the camera on and talk about this. Very long, very hot day. Except for the first eight kilometers. The first eight kilometers was pretty easy, uh, that flat stretch. Then the downhill started and you saw all that, uh, um, especially going through the wine, the vineyards. The vineyards, honestly, was part of the roughest part of the day just about. Yeah. Um, felt like we were coming straight down and then and then it got hot it was so hot i think it got up to Very about fast. 84 today we're both uh a little sunburn a little sunburn yeah. um so we kind of went from winter two days ago at saint bernard where it was in the 40s you were hiking through snow with your sandals on. snow with the sandals to yesterday was spring the high was about 68 69 and, you know the spring showers that you saw and then today it was summer <laughs> It was crazy. It was so hot. Yeah. Just, and because it was so sudden, um, made a relatively moderate day go to tough. Yeah. According to the signs, today was difficult day A. I have no idea what difficult E means. I don't know what the scale is. Well, because there was also a, we saw a difficult T. So I, I have no idea, but maybe we should look we that look up. We got to look that up. We should Google that. <laughs> should Google that. <laughs> Somebody comment below what that all means, please. We don't have a lot of internet. Um, but the straight downhill with a very steep incline at times and the heat made it very hard. And last night I was messaging with um, the hotel we're staying at tomorrow night. And they were asking if we would like time, if we want massages. And the if time at the, the spa pool. and the thermal <laughs> and baths. The and we were like, yes, please. Um, so <laughs> that leads us to tomorrow's decision. We've said all along that we are not purists. We are letting the trail well, dictate on, what happens to us. We're on holiday on pilgrimage. So we've had four really tough days. And then you throw the heat in there and you're like, wow, this is, this is a lot. And an opportunity arose. Uh, we're entering St. Vincent, which is where the thermal baths are. And we both decided that Take sounds a bus. nice. Yeah. So So tomorrow from Daosta to St. Um, Vincent. St. Vincent. We're gonna take which a bus. Is just past the stage. The stage Right, is, the stage is Aosta to Chantillon. We're going to uh, St. It's Vincent, about which is five kilometers. Five or six further. kilometers more. There's a bus, it'll take us about an hour. And that's what you'll see starting the next video, is our sleeping in, our late breakfast, our bus ride, and then you might see some of the thermal baths, but you definitely will not see the massage. I, I think I, we really have come to realize, so in 2019 I ended up in the hospital because I was having panic attacks, I was struggling with my feet, and we never want to get in that situation again. And one of the things that our translator said to me is, you're on holiday, why are you doing this? And a pilgrimage is what it means to anybody. It's, it's an individual thing. And so for us, it's about a way to have a holiday. And, and so that's what we're going to do is tomorrow we're taking a rest day on the holiday. So, good night. Cheers. Arrivederci. Salute. Ciao. Goodbye.